Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making some delicious deviled eggs. Deviled eggs can be controversial here in the Deep South. There are a lot of purists out there. Do you like sweet pickle relish or maybe dill pickle relish, mustard, no mustard? Well, today I am breaking all of the rules and I'm making what I'm gonna call a Chick-fil-A style deviled eggs. And y'all, they are absolutely over the top delicious. First, we're starting with our boiled eggs. Now I'm using six eggs, which makes a dozen deviled eggs. And I'll give you two tips on making those eggs easy to peel. Number one, don't use really fresh eggs. Don't go to the store one day and then expect to make deviled eggs the next. You need to buy your eggs about a week ahead of time. They're perfect for boiling. They form a little air pocket when they get about a week old and that's going to make your eggs really easy to peel. If you're using super fresh eggs that you just got from the grocery store, then you're going to chip that shell off and it's going to be a disaster. Number two is take your eggs, put them in your saucepan, cover them with cool water, put them on your burner and let them come to a full boil. Cover them turn off your heat and let them sit for a good 20 minutes or longer. I've let them sit for up to an hour and they're just fine. And they're always perfect and easy to peel. Now, as you can see, I've got my egg yolks here. I've got my whites here. And now let's start adding all the good stuff. First, for these eggs, like I said, I've only boiled six. So I'm going to add about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. There we go. We might add a little bit more at the end, we'll see. And then we're also gonna add a quarter cup Chick-fil-A sauce. Y'all, this Chick-fil-A sauce gives these eggs a smoky, sweet, savory, just delicious flavor. And they're out of this world. I'm telling you, you've got to try this. They're so good. Now, the only way to get really good, fluffy, creamy deviled eggs is to bring out your mixer. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to mix these until they're nice and smooth and no lumps. These look just right. Now, I'm just going to give them a stir, and oh yeah, these look beautiful. Now, I'm going to add a few more ingredients. I'm debating sweet or dill. Hmm, either one would be delicious. They use dill pickles on the Chick-fil-A sandwich, so I'm inclined to go in the dill direction, but before I do, I'm going to give it a taste and check the sweetness. Mmm. Oh, y'all. They're already outstanding. They're so good. That Chick-fil-A sauce gives them so much flavor. To me, they have the perfect amount of sweetness already. So I'm not going to add sweet pickle relish. When you're making yours, give them a taste and see what you think. If you like dill, use dill. If you like sweet and you want to go a little sweeter, then go for it. Now, I'm going to add, I would say, about a heaping teaspoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of my relish. And now, I've got some bacon. The bacon with the smoky Chick-fil-A sauce is just out of this world. And I'm going to add two tablespoons, and I'm reserving some of this for the tops of my deviled egg. I want people to see that there's bacon in it. Now, I'm just going to fold these ingredients in. Now it's time to fill my eggs. I use a pastry bag to fill my eggs with. When I worked in a grocery store, I would help on occasion down at the deli. 
And I really learned a few tricks. Number one, use a pastry bag to fill your eggs. They're just beautiful and it's so simple. You can find pastry bags anywhere. And I'll post a link to these in the description if you'd like to order these. But you can go to Dollar General, you can go to any craft store, even grocery stores have them now. And if you've got a plastic bag, just fill your plastic bag and cut the bottom corner off and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna fill this and try not to make a mess. And I will say, if you're traveling with your deviled eggs, this is a great way to make them early. Just go ahead and make your filling, do everything that I'm doing, put your egg whites in a plastic bag, and then seal this Take them wherever you're going and fill them when you get there. That way they're still beautiful. I do that a lot. As a matter of fact, almost every time that I take deviled eggs somewhere, I always make them ahead of time. Then I carry my ingredients to where I'm going and then it just takes a minute to fill these up and make them beautiful. There we go. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna cut the corner off of these eggs. You don't have to use any kind of decorative tip. This will work just fine. You're gonna take your hand and place one hand on the bag and then get a good grip on the top of the bag with your other hand. And you're gonna start applying pressure from this hand. You'll figure, oh, you'll figure out just the right amount of pressure. And look at that, here it comes. And there you go, isn't that beautiful? Now I'm gonna give these just a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. You can also use cayenne pepper if you want. Paprika is beautiful or no pepper at all. Now comes more bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. You knew I was gonna say it, right? And sprinkle this right on top. And there we go. Chick-fil-A style deviled eggs. I can't wait another minute to taste this. Y'all, we've been trying to change the name of deviled eggs for years into angeled eggs. And I think after you eat this, it will do the trick. These are heavenly. They're absolutely delicious. The bacon gives it the salty smokiness and then the Chick-fil-A sauce just really puts them over the top. You won't believe how good these are. And I'm glad I went with the dill because that little bit of tartness is perfect in these eggs. You've got to try this recipe. I know that your family is going to love them. Continue to make the traditional eggs that they love and then let them try one of these. My bet is that you won't be making those traditional eggs anymore. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure that you like this video, comment, and share it with your friends. That really lets me know that you like this and that you want to see more. And make sure you're following me at Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook, YouTube, and my website, kathysouthernkitchen.com. Well, I'm glad that I just made these for Jimmy and I. They'll last a couple of days, maybe. We'll see you next time.